Oh, welcome again viewers. Tenerife for seven days. How much did it cost? There were some shocking deals on this trip. Really, really made me sad. And some pretty good deals. I'll tell you how much the hotels cost, how much the flights cost, and uh, we'll just go through our thoughts on each hotel and apartments in Tenerife. If you watch the videos in Tenerife, thank you so much. There was about 64, 65 videos in the last series. Um, I know that because one viewer kindly said, is it not a bit of overkill doing about 62 videos in a place you've been to loads of times? And that's a fair point, but you can easily just skip it. It's like complaining there's too much in Netflix. Just pick what you like to see. Anyway, thanks for joining me again. Let's go through the flight costings and the hotels. I will need to get the glasses on. Hold on. There you go. Perfect. Did you see my wee video in the Chinese shop in Los Cristianos? They sell everything in the world. The glasses cost me four euros in there. Absolute bargain. They're pretty good. Um, right, let's continue. Just a wee thanks. If you watched any of the videos in Tenerife, I'd really appreciate it. For everybody who's kindly bought me a wee coffee or a super thanks or a donation, thank you so much. At the end of the video, I'll leave you a link to your names for all the recent donations. Thank you so much. I'd really appreciate it. Interestingly enough, about 50% of the videos were actually done on the DJI Pocket Osmo. I showed you this quite a few times. It's quite a cool wee camera. This is a version 2. You can see it just films everything there. Um, also, a wee shout out to all the guys I met at the St Mern Hospitality a few weeks ago. Look how kind they are to give me a little pen as a gift. No expense spared at St Mern Hospitality, that's for sure. Um, anyway, right, let's go. Flights, Ryanair, £161 return. Now, this wasn't too bad because it's one of the most expensive weeks of the year. Cheltenham week and St Patrick's Day weekend is very busy in Tenerife. If you book well in advance, but for hotels, you can get some good deals, which we'll talk about just in a wee second. If you leave it to the last minute, the night before booking a hotel, you're going to have a disaster and pay way too much. I'll tell you about that in a minute as well, okay? So all I've done with the flights is I've gone to skyscanner.net, flexible dates, keep the month open, pick the dates that suit you, I did notice these flights fluctuated in price. At one point, they were £250. They went down to 161 and I booked them. They did go down a wee bit further and then they went back up again. So sometimes it's just your luck. Nine times out of ten, flights don't get cheaper near the time. They're normally um, a wee bit cheaper when you book them in advance, but not all the time. Anyway, let's talk about the first four nights. Oh, they were hot nights. That was in Castle Harbour for four nights. I'll leave a link up there if you've missed my room review. We're on room 750, I think. It was booked through booking.com. Genius Level 3 when you do a lot of bookings. You've got discounts. This was really, really affordable, but it was not really suitable for five guys, as I did mention on the video. It worked out roughly, I think, about €365 Euros for four nights for a two-bedroom apartment. And I think... Roughly that was about £65 per night per person, so really, really cheap, but no aircon, big risk. I wouldn't stay in this apartment again. Um, I quite like Castle Harbour, the complex, it is at the very top of Cardiac Hill, so bear that in mind. But the complex is fine, the room wasn't really suitable for five people, maybe a couple of people, but it was a good deal to be fair. Then... We moved on to the H10 Big Sur. That was the night where I had the hostel booked and it was really cheap. It was like under £40, I think. And uh, it was a private room. It was a really good deal. And they cancelled it um, at the last minute. They said they were overbooked, which has never happened before. So I had to find another accommodation in Los Cristianos and there was just nothing available to book. I actually booked the cheapest hotel I could find and it was the most expensive price I've ever paid for a hotel in Tenerife. H10 Big Sur, through the official website, is always the cheapest way to book. It was £178 for bed and breakfast and evening meal. If you've seen the room review, which I'll leave down there, the room was nice, 
but it was at the side of the building. It was one of the poorest rooms in the hotel. It was not worth the money. The food, I thought, breakfast was really, really average. Definitely could be improved. Dinner was okay. It is a nice hotel. It's in a good location. But just my personal opinion, it's not worth £178 per night. I did get a lot of people who stayed in the H10 Big Sur who were defending the hotel, saying it's a great hotel. They go every year. I understand that. If you've got a room especially at the pool overlooking the sea and you book a good deal on a package deal, you won't have any complaints. I'm just giving you my own opinion. Um, don't take any personal offence to it. That hotel is not worth £178 per night. Remember, I only booked for one person. This wasn't even for two people. For one person, £178. But while I go back, maybe you can sometimes get the H10 Big Sur and off season for about £110. So maybe I'll go back and try it again. But I didn't have any sleep because the carnival was on that night and the room was so noisy. And the hotel reception, to be fair, weren't interested. They didn't even wave the barbell, the mini bar, which you end up taking stuff out of, nine euros. And I said to them, listen, I've had no sleep. That room was terrible. What about waving the barbell? It was a gesture of goodwill and they had no interest in it. Not interested whatsoever. Which I thought they could have done, to be fair, because they must have known that room was quite noisy at the side. Anyway, first world problems. Let's move on to the next two nights. So then we went to Hollywood. Hollywood Mirage. Now, if you've missed my review on that one, I'll leave it up there. Just next to the wee St. Mon poster up on the wall there. Check it out. Paisley Panda mascot. Um, Hollywood Mirage, I think, are the best apartments in Los Cristianos. The only thing is, as I've mentioned in the room review, you can get unlucky. Some of the rooms don't seem to get any sun, so you definitely want to try and pick a room that gets sun if you possibly can. Um, also, the, the very, very top, steep, steep hill, cardiac hill, so I'm not exaggerating. You could literally pass out, have a heart attack on the way up the hill to Hollywood Mirage. But once you get in the apartments, they're really good. I paid £95 per night here for two nights, um, which is too much as well, I think. But I do like the complex, so I wouldn't really complain too much about the price here. Hollywood Mirage you can get for about £70 per night and off-season. If you book more nights, you'll get better deals. Usually the official website is always the cheapest. It was the cheapest in this one as well. This deal actually included breakfast. There was no option to book room only. So the breakfast is worth about €12. Euros. The selection is massive. They've got loads of breakfast. I thought it was pretty average, much like the H10 Big Sur. Um, I had breakfast one day. I just skipped it the next day. But if you're looking for the best apartments in Los Cristianos with air conditioning, comfortable, good quality, Nice complex, good facilities. Shuttle bus to the beach and back up as well. Hollywood Mirage are definitely my number one recommendation. But it's not for everybody. Any mobility problems, don't book it. You'll get fed up walking back up the hill or you'll just get taxis all the time. But it's a really nice complex. Um, I'll stay in Hollywood Mirage again. I won't pay as much as that, hopefully. Maybe get it for about 70, 65 maybe, pushing it. I'll wait and see. So... What do you think of the deals? Flights were £161. Hotels in total, so it included Castle Harbour, it says two, three star accommodation. Hollywood Mirage says the equivalent of a four star apartment accommodation. And the H10 Big Sur is a four star hotel. So a good mix there. Hotels in total were £433. I just included my share of the apartments for Castle Harbour to have a fair reflection on it. Flights were 161 so the total for seven nights in one of the most expensive weeks of the year in Tenerife, Cheltenham Week and St Patrick's Day weekend was £594. So I did manage to keep it under £600, which was not bad. Um, just want to thank everybody for all the support watching the videos. I'd really, really appreciate it. All the donations, all the buy me a coffees, if you bought the wee ebook that I've got behind the scenes if you want to know how this YouTube stuff works I'll leave a link down there as well you can buy that, it's on a fiver um, I think it's quite interesting thanks to everybody who's bought that as well but everything basically goes back into the channel 
So either use it for flights, hotels, or wee cameras like this one. This camera now, the combination price, I think it's about 400. The new one, 600, but I'm not buying that one. This one does the job. It's really good for daytime videos. Night, it's not as good as my phone, um, but daytime, can't complain. So just thanks for all support. I really, really appreciate it. If you've watched till the end, breaking news, we've got a cheapest flight series coming up. I booked a flight um, next week, sometime next week. If I make it, hopefully you'll see it on the channel. I might have to edit this one because we'll do a wee video at the airport and stuff. So it might not be on for a few days after it. We're not sure yet. Uh, £21 flight. Where do you think that one's going to? You might be surprised. I bet nobody guesses where it's going. Nobody will guess where this one's going. Um, that'll be on the channel soon. More destinations to come. I've actually booked more flights. Join the newsletter below. Um, I'll try, try and keep you updated where we're travelling to next. But hope you enjoyed the Tenerife series. Um, my favourite place to do videos. I won't be there between May and October. I won't be there during the summer at all. But obviously we're back in the winter as well. Um, thanks for your support. That's all I can say. Almost speechless. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the wee costing video. And um, you might see me doing some videos in the next few days. Even from Scotland. Because I've ran out of videos. Can you believe that? We'll wait and see. Don't know about that. We'll wait and see. Might even do a live. Might do a live Q&A. Would you like that? Don't know. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.